Hey there, Gamer Obscura here, coming to you with Resident Evil on the PC. I'm playing the port that just got released on good old games. This is basically exactly what the game was like back in 1996. Alpha flying around the forest zone. But we got a bunch of cutscenes to get through first, and I don't think I want to talk over all of them, so I'll put a timestamp if you don't want to watch the cutscenes and just get right to the gameplay. But for now, I'm just going to shut the hell up. Bizarre murder cases have recently occurred in Raccoon City. There are outlandish reports of families being attacked by a group of about 10 people. Victims were apparently eaten. Bravo team went to the hideout of the group and disappeared. Look, Chris! It was Bravo Team's helicopter. Nobody was in it. But strangely, most of the equipment was still there. Holy yellow hair. My Bravo god. It's not even blonde, it's just straight up yellow. Like, I know I said I wasn't gonna talk, but that just... <laughs> there, there's no... I can't ignore that. Oh, good lord. Yeah, scream real loud, that won't get the attention of the zombie dogs. That's <laughs> a blood spatter! Oh my goodness. is so bad. I love it so much. I mean, this is pretty gruesome for 1996 video game shit. I remember playing this when I was 12. No, don't go! <laughs> oh my god, the helicopter is totally CGI. It reminds me of the ambulance in Birdemic. That's glorious. I know I said I was gonna shut up, but I just can't help myself with this shit. It's cheesy as hell, but for 1996, this was damn cool. I mean, come on, man. Chris Redfield. But he's smoking a cigarette. He's just straight up smoking. Th yes, there was a time where you were allowed to show that Joe stuff. Valentine. She's so adorable, that smile gets me every time. <laughs> His hair is so yellow, like this is before Bleach Blonde was Resident so popular. Evil. He was ahead of the times, man. So they've escaped into the mansion. Where they thought it was safe. Yet. What is this? Uh, it's a wow. house, Barry. What a mansion! <laughs> Captain Wesker, where's Chris? Stop it! Don't open that door! <laughs> Chris is. Like, uh, what is it? <laughs> Barry said two lines so far, and they're just now, what Jill, is it? Can you go? I'm going with you. Chris is our old partner, you know. Okay, let me handle this. Stay alert. Yes, oh, the legendary door opening sequence. And you can skip it in this version now, but I don't think I'm going to. It's A too epic. Alright, so tank controls, not my forte. This is gonna take some getting used to. I have done a little bit of practice here. What? But <laughs> what is this? What is that, Barry? What is it? Every line. Run. He doesn't know what anything is. But then he knows exactly what it clues. is. I'll be examining this. 
Oh my I hope goodness. Hope this is not Chris's blood. <laughs> All right. Well, I already know ahead of time I'm going to need this. I have played this game before, but it's been 3 years. I streamed it, I want to say, late spring, early summer of 2021. And all I remember are two very iconic lines of dialogue, and there's giant flipping spiders. I mean, oh my god, like, seriously, 1996, this was cutting edge shit. Seeing cutscenes like this, and like, oh dude, the head just falls off, half the face is missing, and like, <laughs> the zombie turns around, and it's like, Ronald McDonald, if he didn't have his afro wig or whatever, that's what he reminded me of. But you don't have to kill him, because you can just come through here and... Barry? Barry will take care of it. What is it? Oh my god. It's a monster! Let me take care of it. Like, the music is so loud. And this is just how it was. In the original version. The sound was not balanced well. There's no option... What is it? ...to change the music Kenneth volume. Was too. Or the sound Maybe effects volume. Creature. Anyway, let's report this to Wesker. Yeah. So, I mean, it's a little rough around the edges, but that's just how it was, and it was still damn cool back then, because you hadn't played anything like this back then. This was like a brand new experience. This is like the seminal game in Wesker! the survival horror genre. Help me look for him, Jill. And don't leave this hall for the time being. And I remember playing this back when it first came out. My stepfather bought it for our computer. And I wasn't very good at the game, but it was still fun. I still Find enjoyed it. Joe. I thought it was really cool. Nothing. What is this all about? I can't figure it out at all. Beats me too. Now it's Wesker's time to disappear. I don't know what's going on. Well, it can't be helped. Let's search for him separately. I'll check the dining room again. Okay, I'll try the door on the opposite side. This mansion is No one talks like that. We could get into trouble if we get lost. We should start from the first floor, okay? And... Jill, here's a lockpick. It might be handy if you, the master of unlocking, take it with you. And there it was, iconic line of dialogue number one. Thanks. Maybe I'll need it. If something happens, let's meet up in this hall. This time, I'll be there. Oh my goodness. So now we finally have control. There was probably not going to be any cutscenes for a while now. But I think in this episode, we'll get to the next iconic line of dialogue. And that's really as far as I've gotten in practice, but there are still things that I remember, even though it's been a few years since I've played this. And I know I'm supposed to go to the door on the opposite side, but we gotta get some bullets off of this guy. It was Kenneth, and now he's a shadow of his former self, but he's got bullets, so he's still useful, even in death. But wait, there's more! Yeah, so we'll take both clips. And to be honest, I kinda wanna explore here first. Oh, that's locked from inside. That's locked from inside. Oh, and there I used the lock pick. All right. Let's head on in. Let's see what we got. Now, I already know what's in here. There's a piano. And it's really cool. Like this bar. I mean, this is a cool mansion, man. Like, who just has a whole parlor like this in their house? And this shelf, yeah, I can push this. And we get the, the music notes. And Jill can play the piano quite well, I must say. Oh, you gotta use the notes. You can't just stand- I'm standing in front of pushing the action button. And it's like, nope, you gotta actually use the music notes. So we get Moonlight Sonata. And I mean, yeah, it sounds good, except for the white noise in the background. But I mean, that's just how this- this is how it was. Like, this is exactly how the game was like back in 1996. They didn't do any kind of polishing for this port or anything. It's just like, this is the original version, and that's kind of what the good old games platform is all about. Which is why I wanted to play this version. I thought about playing the PlayStation version, but this this happened to come out right around the time 
that I was deciding whether or not I wanted to play it. And I don't I don't have a copy. I have the director's cut on the PlayStation, which has absolute garbage music, so I'm not I wasn't gonna play that, so I was gonna have to try and find a copy of the non-director's cut version. And then this got released, and I was like, oh hell no, I'm playing the PC version, then screw it. Because it's not the easiest thing trying to find a reasonably priced copy of of Resident Evil, not director's cut. And I think this was like 10 bucks, maybe 20, I'm not sure. I don't remember, it was worth every penny, whatever it was. But yeah, so I picked up another crest, a gold one, in that other room, and the door closed. So we just swapped the emblems, or whatever, and the, the grandfather clock just politely moves out of the way. And I think there's a key in here. Yeah, so we'll take the mansion key. I don't know what doors that opens. No, I skipped a door sequence. Boo! What the hell, Gam? It's too epic. But now it's time to go to the door on the opposite side. Like, I swear, every line of dialogue in this game, like, they just recorded one word at a time and spliced them together to get what they needed. And here, we'll get the... I mean, it's a map? I don't know if I really need this. Like, it's a map of the first floor. That's cool. But how do I use that? It's like, I go to the map, like, yeah, that's neat. So I'm in the red room, and you kind of have to orient yourself. So, like, I'm facing east. Like, the door I came in is on the west part of this room. So, it's, it's not the easiest map to use, but I guess it's better than nothing. If you can remember what stuff is. And this room is important on the PlayStation version, but not here. And I don't feel like encountering the zombie because I don't need to kill him. There's no ink ribbons on the PC version your first time through a Jill playthrough. So there's no, there's just no point. I did equip this, right? Hello? There we go. So I don't need to go in there. And we used a lockpick. And we're about to get jump scared, I think. Is this where it happens? Yeah, shit! You gotta time your shots just right. Otherwise, you end up wasting a bunch of bullets. So just wait till the dog starts running at you. Not when he's stunned getting up. Dude! How many shots is this thing gonna take to kill? Five? Holy crap, man. And now this, this set of drawers, or shelves, I should say, looks kind of suspicious. I can move it, but there's nothing there. Oh god, again? Yeah, again. And again, just wait till he starts charging you. Otherwise- shit! Damn it! Otherwise you waste bullets, but I guess don't wait too long? What the hell, man? Die already! There we go. Good grief. Holy crap. I've already taken damage. No. Well, that's okay. We got more bullets now. Shoot. I'm getting low. Here, we'll combine this. Do a tactical reload. As far as I know, there's no way to do that. Like, in combat, I guess. Like when you actually have your gun out. And Jill, I must say, you really should consider shaving. I don't know. Maybe she's French. Oh my god, Gam. What the hell, man? Ay ay ay. Yeah, we'll take the green herb. In fact, I think I'm just gonna use it right away. Because... I did take some damage. It's locked. A carving of armor. Alright. I think this is... This is a totally useless room. But it's not, because it's a bathroom. You know, in the bathroom! And like, there's a toilet here. Nothing useful. It's a toilet! It's one of the most useful inventions of all time, man. What the hell? Resident Evil throwing shade on toilets. What the heck? Oh, I just- I love the atmosphere. Like, sometimes there's music and sometimes there's not. And here we go. Get ready for iconic line of dialogue number two. We're a couple minutes away from it, though. But, I mean, obviously, if you've played this game, you know what's coming up. And if you haven't, again, I'm honored to be your first exposure to this game. 
And just get ready for this because it's fucking glorious. <laughs> so get the shotgun and then activate some kind of trap or something. Oh no! Like the ceiling starts coming down and, and somehow the door is locked. And even the master of unlocking Jill can't fight her way out of this one. And I love it, like she just calmly looks up at the ceiling every few seconds like, huh. Yeah, it's, it's still coming down. Hey, what's going on? <laughs> Jill? Hey, Barry! Is that you, Jill? Well, who else would it be? Barry? Help me, please. The door won't open. Quick! Uh, Stay away from the door, Jill. Oh. Door I love how the music is so much louder than everything right. else. But I also this hate way. it. Just go... <laughs> so calmly exiting. <laughs> that was too close. Here comes. You were almost a Jill sandwich. <laughs> You're right. Ah, <laughs> yes! Barry, thanks for saving my life. Barry is totally staring at her breasts. Oh, Barry, didn't <laughs> she you just notice. Uh, Barry, her to do eyes some are research? up there. Why on earth are you here? Uh, I just had something I wanted to check. Yeah, we can now, tell. Let's get back to searching for the lost captain and Chris, shall we? <laughs> Thank you, Barry. Oh my god. I love it so much. I love it so much! Oh man, why didn't I do this last year for spoopy season? I don't know. I can't wait to do the second one. Oh shit! I can't wait to do the second one next year. And I can already tell you right now! Jeez, die already! I don't think he's dead yet, because they can get up. Yeah, shit! Okay, they, they won't get up twice. You knock- ah! Oh no, they will! What the hell, man? Shit! Yes! She just kicked his head off. I didn't think they lived. Like, if you killed him and they got up and you hit him again, I thought they stayed down forever. Oh my god, go down already. Thank you. Is he dead? No, he's still alive. He's still alive. You can see it's very faint, but you can see a pool of blood form underneath them. The, the, the floor subtly changes colors. No, he might get up again yet. I don't want to walk by his head, because if I do, he's going to grab my ankles and start munching on them. Oh, shit. Alright, so that's locked. Oh, I unlocked this one. Alright, here we go. Here we go. Where does this go? Oh my god, another zombie? Shit. I don't have the bullets for this man. I mean, I do have that shotgun. Oh, shit. Oh, God. Mommy. Go down already. Yeah, so see, you can very faintly see the blood pool up around him. So that's how you know he's dead for sure. Oh, my gosh. I've taken some damage here. Shit. Yeah, we'll use the green herb. I'm fine. And you know Jill totally is. Oh, my God. Gam, don't start. Do not start. Just don't do it. And there's our typewriter. And actually, here's an item we're going to need. I don't know exactly when. So we'll just roll with it. However, however, this is a storage box. And it's kind of like an ender chest in Minecraft. Like any box you find, it will always have the same stuff. No matter what box you've put things into. So we're going to combine... Combine our magazines. I'm just going to take all the clips from the box. We don't need to keep them in here. I'd rather just have them on me. Because I'm never going to not want these bullets. So there we go. And I, said, I don't know if I need the key. Well, here. I'm going to take a gamble, for now anyways, and dump the knife. And if I run out of bullets, I'll be in trouble. But I'm willing to take that risk for now. There's boxes like that scattered throughout the mansion, so it's not like we have to come back to this room. But anyways, we'll save our progress, and there's the practice file. That's as far as I got, and that's as far as we're going to get this time. So we're in the storeroom, and we'll continue the adventure next time, and I hope to see you there. Thank you so much for watching. Goodbye.